John Figueroa. My family is with me. Okay. My family is with me. My mom and my uh, dad and my brother are here. Mm. Yeah. Two seconds, I'm already crying. Um, yeah, and they, um, you know, I grew up, my, my, my dad's side of the family is Mennonite. And there's this video of me dressed as Mary Poppins walking around. My, my, my grandfather was a Mennonite preacher. Um, and I, I'm dressed as Mary Poppins, and he's going, Mary, oh Mary, <laughs> not obviously knowing that I'm homosexual like, in the making. <laughs> and they're not like, putting it all together, how funny it is that they're calling me Mary, dressed as Mary Poppins. Uh, so but yeah, they let me, my mom let me dress up as Cinderella and Peter Pan, and they took me to see theater, even though my parents are jocks, uh, my dad is a horse trainer, and they, but they understood um, passion uh, because they're both quite passionate people. So they saw that I was into something and they, they, they let it flourish. And my, my teacher, Sue Fisher, is my eighth grade drama teacher. And at tech, at the, at the tech rehearsal before our first performance, she s pulled me aside after our first rehearsal and sat me down in the back row of the auditorium and said, you gotta pursue this as a career. And I, I was like, what? I didn't know that you could really do it as a job. And I live in Pennsylvania. I just couldn't understand what she was talking about. Um, but she was the person that first told me that I could do it as a job. And then there was the Fulton Opera House, which is an amazing theater in Pennsylvania, and the effort of uh, uh, Performing Arts Center, EPAC, and I did community theater there and school theater, and go PA. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. I'm going to make this horse right here. Hi. I'm from Lancaster. Um, I was, I was no way. Where? At EPAC. No way. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> what a small world. I know, I know. I, so now you're doing this. And you're doing this. <laughs> So you just mentioned a lot about your younger self, but if you could speak to that younger self directly tonight, what would you? That's great. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I would say like the 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 pure joy, inspiration, excitement, passion for. Uh, the arts is a superpower. And if you can believe in it and follow it and harness it and trust it, it can change your life. Hmm. And it has. I wouldn't need to tell him that because though, because I guess he did it. <laughs> so I would say if I had to give him advice, I would say start meditating. Because <laughs> I started doing that two years ago and that really changed my life as well. Um, but yeah, that 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 feeling when you're young, it's what we sing about at the end of Mary Lou We Roll Along in, in the song Out of Time. That feeling, I mean, everybody in this room has had that feeling because we live in New York. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure most of us came here from somewhere else. And that, that ambition and that passion is, uh, is, is, is a life-changing superpower. <laughs> Hey, Jonathan. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Lexi from Variety, so good to see you again, and congratulations on your win. Thank you. Um, so why was it important for you to mention Spring Awakening in your speech, and have you spoken to Leah Michelle since accepting the award? <laughs> I have. I haven't, I haven't spoken to them yet, but it was like, They're all watching, or Gideon and Leah and Gallagher are, are all watching at Leah's house. Um, and we just did our Spring Awakening reunion uh, two years ago. 
and we made a documentary about it, and we all reconnected, and it was, uh, I actually, we did that in November of 2021, and then in January of 2022, I got asked to do Merrily We Roll Along, and I watched Maria Friedman's production on YouTube, and Frank came out with the red folder, and over one shoulder was Charlie, which is exactly where John Gallagher stood as Moritz, and over the other shoulder was Mary, which is exactly where Lee and Michelle stood, and it was these memory of these friends, and I was like, whoa, I just recreated that in the same position. Uh, and so there's been a lot of um, reflecting and uh, remembering and appreciating of that of that spring awakening experience uh, that show changed my life it inspired me to come out of the closet when i was 23 years old i found who i was at that time and that show changed my career and changed my life and it felt essential to mention it to mention everybody involved in that show because uh, it was so meaningful to me and also because Merrily is, and as a show, invites us all to touch that part of ourselves that, that we had inside of us when we were do, doing Spring Awakening. Uh, hi, Jonathan Christie with THR. How does it feel to win your first Tony for a show where you've made these such deep connections with your co-stars? That's the thing, like, the, I mean, we were all at the theater today, like, I mean, I, I, I was like, I, Dan was like, are you not stressed? And I was like, I'm more ecstatic than stressed. He was like, I'm gonna get a shirt that says that, that you can wear, because <laughs> I'm stressed and you're ecstatic. Um, but the, because to me, whether or not we were gonna win the awards, the, the, the fact that this show, this, this master, the this Stephen Sondheim masterpiece is getting a new life 40 years later, it's unheard of, and it's unparalleled uh, in, in, a, in a show in this way. And so I felt like this morning we had already won, regardless of the awards, and the, the matinee today was lit, mm -hmm. and uh, getting, to, getting to be on stage at the Tonys and with our whole cast, and, and then get to sing old friends and feel like we were standing in a living room with each other, not at the Tony Awards, was the most incredible like feeling of, of wow, you really can, in, in, a, in a moment that's so big, you can feel that level of intimacy um, because the relationships are so deep. Okay. Hi, Jonathan, right here. It's Joel Crump with Broadway Time. Congratulations, Hello. so great to see you. So great to see you too. You know, you such a mom. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Yes. Hi. You know, you started mom. tonight, my mom. We're, our mom is our dates, both of us. Of course, mom, always. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, you started in theater and you always returned to Broadway and you're finally winning a Tony for your performance. I mean, what about theater? It's so special for you. Theater saved my life. Theater, uh, uh, like, continues to change my life. Um, there is something about doing eight shows a week that's almost religious because you're repeating the same thing over and over again in front of an audience. So it is life. To me, theater is life. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So well deserved. Thank you. So if you and Leah could star in another show, a uh, TV show, movie, what would it be and why? Ooh, good question. You know, we're, I'm looking all the time. I'm looking all the time for stuff for us. I'm always sending her plays. Um, what would it be? Actually, now that I just said a play, maybe we would do a play together. I'd like to do, I'd love to go off Broadway with her. I'd love to, because I'm really passionate about, and they were mentioning a lot tonight uh, about how many shows that were nominated tonight came from the off-Broadway community to the Broadway community. And post-pandemic, you know, Broadway, we're getting back, but really it's those non-for-profit theaters and the off-Broadway theaters that need our love right now. So if I had my dream, I would scoop up Leah Michelle and we would do, a, a fierce off-Broadway play together. 
turn. Forbes. Congratulations. Thank you. One thing that I just love about your portrayal of Franklin Shepard is that you make him so likable and you know he's such a always not always making good choices, isn't very like but you imbue such a um, I'm rooting for him. What what do you like about him? How did you find a way into him? It's funny, uh, some people will say like all of his bad choices, and I genuinely go for like, bad choices. <laughs> uh, and I, Maria Friedman, our director, um, she directed the piece from a, it's, I think it's no mistake that it took a female director to find the humanity and the love inside of all of these characters, uh, to not make it cynical. Um, uh, to not make it just about the industry, but to focus on the friendships and the relationships. And he's a per she, she helped me learn that he's a person that lost touch with music, lost touch with his passion. And so that person is lost. That person is not bad. And so when we're in, our, in the first scene of the show, which is the end of the story, and it's quite... Um, uh, coarse and uh, vile, some of the things that we're throwing at each other and saying, it's coming from a deep place of pain and disconnect, as opposed to just surface um, villainousness. Like, like, like Beyonce says, playing victim and the villain at the same time. It's just trying to find the victim inside of the villain. Hey, Jonathan, over here. Hey. Hey, Shoshana with B-Way Show. Yes, good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. So every time I see you, you are the most excited person in the room. You have this theater kid energy that is electric. Now you are a Tony Award winner. Amazing. How are you feeling? And do you have a favorite memory from the season, especially from Merrily, which is going back, looking back on like the season, looking back on the, you know, a lifetime? Great question. A favorite, a favorite moment of Merrily from the season? With those two fabulous co-stars and the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, wow, to pick one, moments, there's like a hundred bajillion infinity moments that I can pick. I, I, I will say that like, let me pick a favorite moment. Let me not, let me, not <laughs> let me pick a favorite moment. I would say that, that um, after our first day of rehearsal on Broadway, we got a boat. We got a boat for the cast and the crew and everybody, and we went on a boat on the Hudson River and it was like the, we had had this beautiful experience off Broadway and we had seven months off and we came back to the first day of rehearsal and we, we knew we had this long road ahead of us, but the, because of that, that base feeling of, um, like we all shared the bathroom off Broadway, so we all knew each other really well, and it was, there was a lot of intimacy there. And then the first day of rehearsal, just getting first day of school, getting to be back with each other was an amazing moment that I remember. Amazing. But I feel like we're about to have a great moment in like whenever I get to that party. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you at the show. Thanks for watching my B-Way Show coverage of the 77th Annual Tony Awards. See you at the show.